You're the man, buddy. You're the man. All right, good boy. <laughs> In this episode, I meet up with a friend, and I get to see some new dogs, some new country, and plenty of good dog work. As a wire hair breeder, I make a point to get out and see other dogs from good breeders around the country. And this time, I meet up with my friend Katie, who has some really nice dogs from another friend of mine, Kelly Jobes, at Bone Point Kennels. Now, Katie is a serious hunter, and just like me, she's all about the dog work. So even though the weather didn't cooperate, we still had a great time. So we start things off on this rainy morning, and I've got Cece out, and Katie gets out her dog Gravy. Now the country we're in could potentially hold Chucker, Huns, and even Quail. Here Cece kicks things off with a nice find on a covey of Huns. Yep. You find it interesting how often you shoot at the same bird as everybody else? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think we just both shot at the back of the pack there. Exactly. Yeah, just uh... Dead bird, baby. CC, dead bird. CC, hey. hey. CC, dead bird in here. Um, great. Man, I thought that thing just dropped. I did too, and I would have put it right here. Yeah. They've both been through here. I would have thought they would have picked it up by now. Yeah. Yep. Cece's on right down here. Maybe it ran on us. You got it, baby? There it is. She's got it. got it. It's 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 still alive. It's wounded. See it? Flying off from him. Yeah, I think <laughs> get it. That's what it was. She just tracked it down there. I would oh, never have guessed it gone that far. I've seen him go a long way. Oh, gravy got it. Good boy, gravy. A dog that can find cripples is a beautiful thing. Hey, bud. Good boy. You yeah, no, thank you. Good boy. Good girl, baby. You track it down. You're a good girl. Oh, yeah. Cece. Hey, hey, hey. Cece. It's okay. You hold it for a second. You can hold it for a second. <laughs> She's that. like, God, damn it. it. That was my bird. I found it. <laughs> you are a stealer. Skinny, You're a stealer. Skinny just right, I, I, no, be nice. Be easy on it. I want to eat it. Next, Cece. Yeah. Kind of is what it is. Now we've got gravy on point in the distance. And as we're walking in here, I can't see any way to sneak up on these birds. And sure enough, they get up before we get close. There they go. Whoa! They just had us beat by where they were. We would have had to maybe come from that other way, yeah. use the hill, but. Or like drop, we could have, I guess we could have dropped them way down below him. Yeah. And come up over the top. Yeah, there's just nothing to hide us here. That's okay. We'll find some more. Oh, here you go. She's pointing right at us. It's hard to see him, but Gravy's on point just in front of us. No f way. Got one. Good, because I didn't. Oh, I smoked one. Good boy. Thank you. Oh yeah. That bird didn't stand a chance. That's uh, <laughs> that, I put I put all the BBs in that one. Good. Dravy? Look at the Dravy. Oh, <laughs> number one Dravy. Yeah, I saw no, him no, looking at us. I'm like, oh, if they're there, they are one of them's okay. gotta go down. Go, yep, that's the perfect scenario there. Good Can't old, believe man. I didn't get that freaking bird down. It came up and kind of did a fighter jet thing on me yeah. and I just whiffed. Yeah. This was kind of a weird sequence here. So we've we've had Gravy on point at several hundred yards away and we're making our way to him. And all of a sudden we start okay. getting into some quail. And so Cece's like pointing and tracking and we got birds kind of coming up randomly around us. But we never get one locked down. So we just kind of keep making our way towards Gravy. Tracks everywhere. Oh no, shoot those. 
Those were his, weren't they? Bobby. Yep, those were his. And those freaking quail put them up, man. So Gravy was pointing huns, and as we were walking in, these random quail started coming up, and that triggered those huns to take off, unfortunately, before we could get good shots. Yeah. Those quail put the kibosh on that whole deal. So despite a lot of finds and a lot of good work by the dogs, we just didn't end up with too many birds on the ground. And that was just one of those mornings where a bunch of little things didn't quite go our way. It's the way it goes. Easy, go easy, okay. So the next morning, Katie and I meet up and we try a new spot and we decide to get the young dogs out. I get out Riggs and she gets out her dog Clancy. Now with both these boys being just about a year and a half old, I was on the lookout for any young dog shenanigans. That's, that's not good. Them pointing birds together was not ideal. <laughs> sure enough, the first birds we see, the boys point together, and let's just say the birds got put in the air prematurely. Hey, hey, I don't know what you did, but it couldn't have been good. What happened, Clint? Hey, you got a whoa. You hear me? Easy. Go easy, okay. But to the boys' credit, that was the only time on this day they acted their age. And the rest of the day was filled with some beautiful dog work. Whoop, whoop. So we're walking into a rig's point here. And as we were coming down, some birds got up out to our left, out in front of Katie. But they didn't seem to be the birds he was pointing and he did a good job of staying steady, so we just kept making our way. Oh, they're probably spread out through here. God damn it. Did not see that coming. That's exactly where he was looking. He That's where he was pointing down. first. He only turned this way when those three got up down there. So I suspected they were over there. Did you get it? No. My covey was split on both sides of this knob. Well, that was Hans. Yeah. There were Chuck's over here. There were Chuck's over here? Chuck's over here. Yeah, Chuck's over here. Like there right? Was, yeah. I'm not real sure how he pointed those. They got a breeze coming this way. Yeah, these, these hills are funny that way. Then just a couple minutes later, Clancy locks down a single force. It takes a couple minutes, but Clancy finds this bird just on the other side of this draw. Yeah. I'm a little concerned here because we're walking into a rig's point, and as we get close, we get a point signal from Clancy as well in the same spot. So I was worried they might put up another cubby. So I was pretty pleased when I got to the top of this hill and I see not only are they doing what they're supposed to do, they're looking pretty good doing it. Riggs is on point and Clancy's backing him. Wow, I, did, I thought it was going to be Chuck's. Dead birds! Did I shoot yours again? No, mine I bailed up that way. Okay. No, hey, 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 dead birds! I took two shots at a bird that peeled off of that way. Pick it up, Clint, dead birds! We got one for each of them. We got one down here and one down there. Oh, I bet you had a nice view of that. Oh, dude. That 
picture when I stepped over the top. I was like, holy shit, dude. Good dogs, good young boys yeah. for holding. That is a good boy, Clancy. Clancy? Riggs, come here, buddy. I got that bird for you. That was a fucking massive covey of buns. Yeah, no, I had about 10 split off above me. So I tried to pick the two off to, uh, off up top. I was afraid I shot yours again because it no. was pretty close to you. No, no, no. I had, I had, I had like I said, they probably ten peeled straight up that way, and I, I so I swung <laughs> on the uphill bird. Damn, that was a hell of a cubby. Reeks, dead bird. It's way down there, buddy. Yeah, when I stuck my head up over the top, it saw those two boys. Just, uh, I was like, oh god, be good boys. <laughs> be good boys. Be good boys. Cause yeah, look at this. I was, like, I, I was like, I should just focus on shooting a bird, but sometimes you gotta take a oh, picture. Oh, you gotta take a picture. But like, look at that. So there's, I mean, that's Clancy just yeah. looking dead to stop. Looks and like Riggs, he looks good enough. He looks like he's on point. And then Riggs just, <laughs> and Riggs was like crossed up. Good boy, Riggs. I don't know if you could see that, but he Yeah, I saw, I did see like him for a second. his front feet were like. <laughs> good boy, buddy. Good boy, good boy, good boy, good boy Riggsy. Good boy. Come here, buddy. Come here. That's good boy, good dog. Yeah, well, that's well good dog. Done, Riggs. Good job, buddy. Well done. That was a nice find, Riggs. Well done. Yeah. 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 We were both looking at our transmitters at the same time. I'm like, oh shit, not again. And I did well, and I I'd heard yours beep first. Yeah. And so I looked at mine to see where Clancy was. Right? Like, is he gonna? Oh yeah. Up, right. And then it it was at that exact second Clancy beeped, and I'm like, oh shit. Good boy. And so, yeah, when I just like. Katie and I kind of geek out on the dog work here, but that's why I enjoyed hunting with her so much because she's out there for the same reason I am. We're out there to see these dogs do their thing, and we just love seeing them be successful. Well, I'm glad they both got a reward. That's cool. That was good boy. And now we can go back to the truck and start drinking. <laughs> The good work continues here as Clancy has a nice find on this covey of Huns. All Huns. I missed, but Katie got a good look at him and got one down. Good boy. I think this is your bird too. I don't think I got this. No, it's your bird. Is it? I promise. Oh, right in the gourd. <laughs> <laughs> We're walking into another point here. And Katie's off to my left, and she's right by the dog, so she stops and gets a quick video of the boys. We've got Riggs on point and Clancy backing. We're out in front of the dogs now, and Riggs relocates and locks them down. Easy, buddy. Huh. Ah, oh, get down, bird! Yeah, it's going way down there. Way down. We nicked a couple birds, but because of the fog, it was hard to tell if they went down. Riggs is on its tail. He might have a chance at it. Yeah, he, dude, that was a nice piece of dog work. Yeah, it was pretty. Play that video. Back. Riggs is what, just two? He's not two yet. Yeah. Clancy won't be two until June. That's a nice piece of dog work right there. <laughs> Tell you what would be really nice is if he comes back with that bird. Then it'll be then it'll be a really nice piece of dog work. <laughs> well, I was hoping Riggs was gonna pull off one of his miracle dead bird finds, but not this time. Well that was a great hunt and we've got just enough time in the day to have one more hunt, so we decided to get out a couple more dogs. I get out savvy and she gets out gravy. Who's a good baby? Yes, you're my baby girl. Oh, watch your, uh, watch your step behind you. Oh, well, that's a good spot. 
Whew, look at that, she even stood it up on end. That's that's fancy. That's fancy pooping. God, thank you, darling. Okay, let's go. Yeah, okay. So these two dogs are pretty rangy. They can run pretty big. And Katie and I actually end up getting separated because the dogs are off working different birds in different areas. Here I've got Savvy on point on some birds that get pretty jumpy. I don't know what put those birds up. I don't think they could see me. I sure shouldn't, couldn't see her. That's a good girl, baby. Savvy likes this kind of country. She can stretch out. You just run out there with her head high and zap them. Now I've got Savvy on point again here. And I decide to use this little ridge to hide my approach, go off to the right, and get out in front of her. Now I'm walking right into her nose, and I'm thinking I got these birds dead to rights. God damn it! You gotta be me! Well, those shots weren't exactly close, but I felt like I should have got one down. And if you watch a lot of my videos, you know I can get pretty frustrated with myself when I'm missing. God damn it. I think that's going to be one of my resolutions for next year to try not to get so upset about it. You know, it bothers me more than it seems to bother the dogs anyways. And why ruin your hunt over it? So stay tuned next year to see if I can actually take my own advice. So after a couple more cubby finds with the birds getting up wild, we get to end our day on this beautiful piece of dog work here. Total flock shot, don't care, got one down. Dead bird, baby, dead bird. Good girl. Good girl, good girl, keep. All right, good girl. Woohoo! I finally hit one, huh? Can you believe it? Yeah, I finally hit one. Only well, took about four cubbies for me to hit one. <laughs> oh man, I need some tighter chokes. Yeah, they're kind of out in some thin cover, so it's just not they're just not going to let us get that close. It's going to be my excuse, but I've missed a couple shots that were pretty easy. Yeah, I sure have. Well, that was a beautiful way to end the day. And I had heard Katie do some shooting as well, so when we got back to the truck, we got to swap some stories and talk about us missing birds and all that stuff. So it was a fun couple days, and I really enjoyed myself getting the hunt with Katie and her dogs. Okay, now it's just me and the dogs, and I've got Savvy out here, and we're gonna hunt this area that I've hunted before, but I just haven't hunted this part of the mountain. It's a spot that I'm expecting to see maybe some chucker and some hunts. Let's do this. Now with a nice breeze and the moisture in the air, it seems like we got some pretty favorable scenting conditions on this day. So it doesn't take Savvy long till she's on point. Savvy has a really intense, stylish point, so I'm glad I took a second here to get a couple nice pictures. Now with these good scenting conditions, the dogs can smell them from a long ways away. I mean, Savvy routinely pointed from over 100 yards on this day, so it takes me a while to get up there. And even still, the birds come up out of range. That one dead? Two of them die? That was a bomb. They were jumpy as hell. Well, didn't get a bird, but that was a beautiful way to start. That was that was gorgeous. Oh my gosh. This girl can lay down some style. Alright, just a few minutes later, she's on again. 
and this time she does a few relocations. I edited a lot of this out for the video, but over the course of this sequence, we cover about 150 yards. But here at the end, she gets a little creepy, because I know she's got them, and she keeps moving in. Man, they're jumpy. Got a little creepy on that one, honey. Here Sevy locks down on our first covey of chucker for the day. Whoa! Dead birds, Sevy. The birds were spread out a bit, so I was able to get a double. Dead birds. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl, Savvy. Good girl, baby. Good girl. Hey, fetch. Savvy, fetch. Fetch. Fetch here. Here. Good girl, give. Good girl. Good job. Yeah. That's good girl. Now she's on again, and she's already made a couple of adjustments. Once again, it was quite a ways till we got up to the birds, but these actually let us get pretty close. Dead bird, Sammy, dead bird. Dead bird, baby, dead bird. Good girl, good girl. Good girl. Hold. No, fetch. Give. What's that stuff, huh? You need to brush up on your force fetch, girl, huh? Yeah, that's good girl. Oh my gosh, that was a long process. Yeah, that's good girl, good girl. Oh, these sitting conditions are so good now that she's pointing them for like Oh gosh, I'm trying to think of where we started that. I mean, that was like over 100 yards. These hun cubbies especially, they're up here on these tops a little more and they're balled up. They stay in tighter groups and tighter coveys. And so that concentration of scent makes it much easier for them to like, you know, bomb them from forever. We've had a little fresh moisture come down. We've got a breeze. So everything is coming together for us today. We've got some great conditions and the little girl's doing a great job. So hopefully there's a few more of these cubbies around the corner. This time Savvy goes on point and over 500 yards away. So it takes me quite a while to get to her, especially cause the last 250 yards or so were straight up a hill. Still alive. She got it. Good girl, Sammy! Good girl! Good girl! Good girl! Good girl! Give a good girl! Oh, God! Oh. Holy sh! That was a 250 yard climb. Nothing but climbing all the way to the top of this damn thing. I had 
changed direction and was going to go to another ridge and I was going down and all of a sudden I'm like oh we're savvy Bzzz. I mean that was I don't know 10 or 15 minutes I was going as hard as I could hell we're back we're back up by the truck oh god oh shit. that was brutal ah oh, thank you savvy thank you for holding them baby the only reason we got those birds and they didn't bust on us is because right here there's like a few piece a few uh sage bushes and they created a snow drift right here and that drift gave me the cover and her the cover to get as close as we did otherwise they would have been gone these things are so flighty you absolutely positively have to stay out of sight until you get as close as possible but it worked Now we had several coveys that flushed wild on us because we weren't able to hide our approach. But this time we get lucky because we've got this little rocky outcropping in front of us and the birds can't see us coming. Dead bird. Good girl. Good girl, baby. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Give good girl perfect one. Yeah, that's what we like to see. Just needed a little reminder, huh? Yeah. Well. The Huns better stay the hell away from this little girl. <laughs> uh, she can lock him down from 100 yards plus. Jeez. We got those girls. We can go back there. Yeah. You killed it, girl. Beautiful work. Well, that was yet another very memorable hunt in a very special place. I'm really proud of the work these young dogs are doing. They're really showing a lot of talent and a lot of promise for a great future. And speaking of talented dogs, I want to thank Katie for meeting up with me and giving me the chance to hunt with her and her very special dogs too. You can find her on Instagram at Travelin' Pup. There's plenty more to come from this trip, so I'll see you next time. If you'd like more content, you ought to check out my Patreon page where I post videos on other subjects like gear, truck camping, dog training, and anything else we can think of that might be helpful for the traveling bird hunter. You can find it at patreon.com backslash Eric Forrester, or just click the link in the description.